James O'Loughlin. Welcome to the new Inventors. Every good idea started off as a crazy idea. You know that thing you had on your show the other day? I thought of that 10 years ago. And I go, really? And what did you do when you had the idea? And they go, ah. <laughs> We're not thinking every day and really applying the full creative force of our brains to problems and opportunities in our business. I would suggest we're not doing our job properly. The solution to almost all our problems is between our ears. James Alock is the host of the TV program, The New Inventors. What James does is takes that experience and talks to organisations about how we can use innovation in our business, not by spending money in R&D, but actually changing the way we think. If you don't change, if you don't continue to do things better, sooner or later, you'll be left behind. They ruled that Ian Thorpe was allowed to use that suit because they defined it as being part of his uniform. So I thought, well, that's a big stretch on uniform. It's a lot more than a pair of Speedos, isn't it? Like, could I go in the 100 metres sprint and just wear shoes that are 99 and a half metres long? When the gun goes, go, well, I've won. Go in the synchronised swimming with a mirror. <laughs> or the weightlifting with a new suit that looks a bit like a forklift. I've met like over a thousand inventors and just between you and me, they are no smarter than the rest of us. But what inventors do have is A, a willingness to, to think and a willingness to value their ideas. I've always thought when I turn on the, the hot tap and cold water comes out, that is an inevitable and unavoidable uh, price that I pay for hot water, wasting that cold water. There's nothing I can do about it. This guy thought, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He invented something. He put a thermostat in the pipe. And so all the water below a certain temperature doesn't come out the hot tap, it goes into a tank. Nothing comes out the hot tap until hot water comes out. Next time he turns down the cold tap, the cold water he just saved comes out. Think how many tens of millions of people have turned on hot taps and never even thought of that as wasted water. So sometimes things are right in front of our, our faces. We don't even see them as problems. We just assume that the way things are are the way they have to be. The way to have a good idea is to have lots of ideas. I was thinking if they're like balloons, you should blow them up as big as they're going to get before you judge them. It's really easy to judge an unformed idea, and all you do by judging them prematurely is destroy the confidence of people who've had them and possibly miss out on something good. You've got to harvest the ideas of your people because no one knows your organisation like your people. And if you listen to 20 ideas, and 19 of them are terrible, but one of them is something that solves a problem or creates an opportunity for you, then listening to all 20 is something that's a very beneficial use of time. Make it clear that ideas are valued and, and, and important. They are the thing that is the engine, ultimately, of your business.